Hello there and welcome back. Total OS today is total technology for beginners and beyond. Well, tonight I think I have somewhat of a total recommended tech shopping list for you guys if you are still shopping for the holidays for yourself or for someone else. Now, I have a lot to cover here, so let me go through this list as quickly as I can and I will have a link below in the show notes for all of this. Okay, let's go with these one by one. Routers, I actually recommend AC routers, they are the latest uh, technology. Uh, if you are looking for something to give you the best range, uh, now keep in mind there are three things here to consider when you buy a router. Number one is the quality of the of, of the quality of the original uh, signal or service, such as satellite service versus DSL versus cable. I have cable service here where I live, and it seems fine. AC routers are the latest latest in technology. If uh, if you're looking for if you don't need anything that sophisticated, consider a dual band router. But for the best signal that you can get, I would probably stick with an AC router. All right, seven inch tablets. Well, it's no secret I like Android. I would take a look at the Nexus Seven tablet, the Samsung Tab Four tablet. I have each one of those. I actually have last year's Tab 3, but the new one is a quad-core. Definitely go with the new one. Uh, I would also probably take a look at the um, Apple Mini. Uh, all Any one of those or all three of those, you really can't go wrong. 10-inch tablets, by far the best deal right now would have to be the Samsung 10-inch uh, tablet. Uh, best deal I've seen out there so far. So take a look at this uh, definitely the best deal this holiday season gaming console well I am a halo fan I picked up the latest Xbox one for three forty nine ninety nine a couple free game downloads were included of course there's nothing wrong with the Sony PlayStation also but if you are a halo fan exclusively on the Xbox one definitely check out the Xbox one of course halo collection or halo the master chief collection is out has been out for about a month finally multiplayer has been rectified it would appear I was on it this past weekend this weekend with my son it seems okay so definitely check it out it's definitely a lot of fun the updated maps the Halo 2 anniversary graphics looks incredible headsets well let's see I've always been a fan of Logitech so you really can't go wrong with Logitech headsets. Definitely take a look at that. Webcams, I use a Logitech webcam uh, sometimes when I post some of these videos. Uh, any one of them would suffice. Obviously, the higher you go in price, the better the quality. Uh, I use, what do I use, the C? You know what, I forget which model I use, but I believe it was less than $50. So take a look at that one if you're looking for a, an acceptable low-end webcam. Are you looking for a mid-size range, high-definition TV? I picked up a Sanyo 39-inch TV, works very well. So definitely take a look at that. Another option would be uh, any Samsung. Uh, one of my cousins has two or three Samsungs in his house and he seems to enjoy all of them. Desktop computers. My latest one is a um, Gateway. So far so good. This is actually the one I'm using right now to upload all of these videos. Um, it was a refurbished one. Didn't buy a new one. I was actually looking for a gaming computer didn't happen this year but I do thank you thanks to your support donations sub subscriptions and all that I was able to at least pick up a newer uh, PC for all the stuff that I do here so thank you very very much all right laptops well I've had have had continue to have very good luck with ThinkPads they are the workhorse of laptops if that makes any sense I've also had good luck in the past with HP and Toshiba's but my number one personal favorite for laptops has to be the Lenovo ThinkPad computer chairs I picked this one up almost two years ago and it's already not like level it kind of rocks it's <laughs> this computer chair 
I'll put it to you this way. This computer chair I'm using now does not have a headrest, and it sucks. So computer chairs, definitely, 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 if you're going to spend hours at a chair doing anything, especially something like what I do, you want a headrest to rest your head. Of course, of course, it's probably better to take your rest every 30 minutes or so and just stretch out for your health. But computer chairs today, in my opinion, headrests, headrests, are a must. All right, I will have a link for this list below in the show notes. Uh, the link will take you here to the Total OS Today Dash Shop. Just click any one of these links here and you should be good to go. If I missed anything important, please let me know any recommendations you may have and I will post an updated list before Christmas if there is time. The latest poll. Was Ubuntu your first Linux operating system? This ends January 1st, 2015. Another Linux year has gone by. Wow. Well, let's take a look at the quick results here. So far, 62% Ubuntu, no surprise there. Linux Mint, only almost 7%. That's all. I thought it would have been more. There would have been more votes for them. Hmm. 28% other. Well, there's still still time to vote. I am not surprised about the top choice, a little bit surprised about Linux Mint, but again, there is still time to voice your opinion. All right, that's it for this one. What am I working on next? I'm taking a look at the Debian Linux um, number eight, Jesse. I'm looking at the, what did I look at last? XFC, I'm looking at the Cinnamon version so far so good i'm i'm taking a look at a full install of the pc linux um pc linux os lubuntu that one looks good so far somebody asked about fedora if i have time i will take a look at that but for now i'm taking a look at those other linux based operating systems all right that's it for this one as always thank you so much for watching and listening and please this holiday season and always please don't text and drive and as always i will catch all of you sometime in the future